Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on algebraic fractions. In this video, we'll be looking at substitution in fractions. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. So we start with problem one. For problem one, if x over y is equal to two over three, Evaluate 3x plus 2y over x minus 1 over 3y. So in our solution, we are going to manipulate the expression to accommodate x over y. To do that, we divide every term in the expression by y. So that 3x divided by y will give us 3x over y. Then plus 2, since 2y divided by y gives 2. Then over, for the denominator, x divided by y gives x over y. And 1 over 3y divided by y gives 1 over 3. So we now have it as minus 1 over 3. Then we substitute 2 over 3 for x over y. So that we now have 3 times 2 over 3, since 3y over 3 is the same thing as 3 times y over 3. Then plus 2 over 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3. So this 3 will cancel this 3, we'll be left with 2. We then have it as 2 plus 2 to give us a 4. Then for the denominator, we have 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3, and that's going to give us 1 over 3. So we have 4 divided by 1 over 3, which gives 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 gives 12. That's all for problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, given that x ratio y is equal to 3 ratio 4, evaluate 2x plus y over 2x minus y. So in our solution, so that if x ratio y is equal to 3 ratio 4, then x over y is equal to 3 over 4. We then go back to the expression and express it in such a way to accommodate x over y. So we said again to do that, we divide every Every term of the expression by y so that 2x divided by y gives 2 times x over y then plus 1 over 2 times x over y minus 1 then we substitute whatever we see x over y we put in 3 over 4 so that we now have our Next step to be 2 times 3 over 4 plus 1, then over 2 times 3 over 4 minus 1. So 2 goes here will give us a 1, 2 goes here gives 2. We now have 3 over 2 plus 1, then the same way 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 2. So at this point now we have so at the numerator, we have 3 over 2 plus 1, and that will give us 5 over 2. Then the denominator is 3 over 2 minus 1, and that will give us half. So we we'll say again, divide by 1 over 2. Transforming this division to multiplication, we now have 5 over 2 times 2 over 1. So from here now, this 2 goes with these 2, and we have our final answer as 5. So that's the end of the solution to problem 2. We then go to problem 3. For problem 3, if x is equal to 3a minus 2 over 2a plus 3, express 3x minus 1 over x plus 1 in terms of a. Um, in our solution now, Wherever we see x, since x is 3a minus 2 over 2a plus 3, 
we put in the whole of this expression. So we go 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. So x is this expression or this fraction. So at the numerator, we have 2x minus 1. So we have our 2, our x is this fraction. We bring in the fraction, then minus 1. You can see that 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1 because x is equal to 3a minus 2 over 2a plus 3 then over x plus 1 so this this fraction then plus 1 now we remove fractions from the numerator and denominator by multiplying each by 2a plus 3 which is the denominator here so to do that, we now have 2 into 3a minus 2 minus 1 into 2a plus 3. What have I done? I have multiplied the whole of this by 2a plus 3. And this one is gone. We'll be left with 2 into 3a minus 2. Then multiplying this one by this also, we have negative 1 into 2a plus 3. Then at the denominator, the same way, multiply the first term here by the denominator, we'll be left with 3a minus 2, then plus 1 into 2a plus 3. So in our expansion, from the numerator, we have 2 times 3a giving us 6a, 2 times negative 2 gives negative 4. Then negative 1 times 2a gives negative 2a and negative 1 times 3 gives negative 3 over 3a minus 2 then plus 2a plus 3. So simplifying the numerator, 6a minus 2a gives 4a, negative 4 minus 3 gives negative 7 over the denominator 3a plus 2a gives 5a negative 2 plus 3 gives positive 1 and we have successfully expressed 2x minus a over x plus 1 in terms of a given that x is 3a minus 2 over 2a plus 3 and that's the end of solution to problem 3 this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.